Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're on day number two. Dose. Dose. Day two of Mainstream Zen, the master class. <laughs> Let me get my mic up here. We have so much today. We have so much today. And I'm just going to like forewarn you, I'm a little bit weepy today. I might cry. This is totally okay. It's totally normal. Um, and I'm just, I'm here for it all. So yeah, my team actually, Rebecca from my team, she just dropped in the names for our drawing and she was like, I'm proud of you. And I was like, shut up. I'm going to cry. <laughs> so I'm a little weepy today, but it's all good. Um, we have some really cool stuff today and yesterday you guys blew me away. This group grew overnight, which I have been holding that intention. We're going to actually talk about that from the, the perspective of energy and there's so much, it's going to be so rich today. If you liked yesterday, you're going to freaking love today. You're going to love it so much. Um, but I've been holding this intention for this group that, I would love to see a thousand people in this group this week. I've done it before. I know it's possible. I have past evidence. I know it can happen. And I also know that the value of what is in this conversation, it's already expanded so much. And the comments yesterday blew me away. There was like, the last time I checked, there was like 780 something comments just on day one's video. If you missed it, like go back and watch it. It's so freaking good. Um, the way that people shared the request to join overnight, like more and more people like sharing about this masterclass and talking about how it shifted them or changed them. It's just, it really, really, really did something to me. So I'm so happy that you're here for day two. Uh, it will be, if you liked yesterday, it will be amazing for you. And if you missed yesterday, I could not recommend highly enough. Just go back and check out yesterday. Just, just trust the people, <laughs> trust the volume of comments, trust the number of views. Um, yeah check it out. So we're here. I have my notes, which I know you guys, you, you know that yesterday I had my notes. This is how I like to do a masterclass because there are some times when, when something will just come through very easily. And then there's other times when I'm, I'm so cognizant that there's a message that I want to bring forward that I come with notes so that I don't miss anything. And this is the nature of this program. I know that some of you have realized this and maybe you don't know, so I'm just gonna say it. This particular container is free for the week. So this Facebook group where we are hosting Mainstream Fame Masterclass, it is free for the week. And after that, this content is getting remastered, repackaged, and sold for $555 as an evergreen program. So if you are one of the beautiful souls who got to find out about this while it was live action being recorded, I'm so happy that you're here. Like, let a friend know if you feel like this resonates with you and you would like to see someone else be affected by this particular message, let people know because after this week, it will certainly not be free again. And also I'm having so much fun recording it live with you with a live audience that is like landing with. So I'm so grateful for you. I'm so happy that you're here. If it, if it's landing and hitting home for you, share it with a friend and we get to get into day number two. Day number two. So Yesterday, we talked about going from skill to art. We talked so much about beauty and the old paradigm of selling and how beauty was formerly packaged from, from a very paternalistic standpoint of, you know, you should look this way, this certain way. And if you don't look this certain way, you should feel very bad. And if marketing can make you feel very bad, then they can manipulate into buying things. And this has been the way of marketing for decades. And thank 
the good Lord, like people are waking up, but they're not thinking that way anymore. So we talked a lot about that. If you if you nerd out on psychology and why things work, you'll want to you'll want to hear day one. But day two, we are going to deep dive even further into the concept of beauty, not through the lens of need, lack, being cookie cutter, being not enough, and performing for other people, but instead about being beauty through the lens of intention, personal expression, and living a frequency. Because we established yesterday that beauty actually is an energetic frequency. 505, baby. So, Welcome to the very expansive conversation. <laughs> Today, you're really going to experience me as an artist. You get to hear from my artist brain. It's going to be really fun. And before we before we get into the content, we actually have a drawing to do. We have a drawing to do. Um, we have a graphic inside this group, and the graphic says, I'm in. It's a, a picture of our masterclass. People have been sharing it. People have been tagging me. It's been on Instagram. It's been on Facebook. It's been on people's timelines. They've tagged a girlfriend. They've told people what they liked about day one. It's been very moving to witness. And so we have all the names here. Very, very, very exciting. Um, and what this, what this human being is about to win has a $555 value. We talked about it a little bit yesterday, and I am going to teach you a little bit of marketing stuff today, but it's from the energetic standpoint. So I'm going to teach you about the concept of like a presale. I want you to hear this from the perspective of the feminine heart and feminine sales, the concept of a presale. So yesterday I just grazed. I grazed on a concept. Is anyone here for like learning about marketing at all? The psychology, the energetics behind why why we do pre-sale? If so, put hashtag pre-sale. If not, I'll skip it and I'll hold it for day three, four, and five because that's when I'm really going to talk about branding. But yesterday I just grazed on an offer. So the offer is for the remainder of today and a couple hours tomorrow, our brand has a curated program that's running from July through year end, six months in total. This is a piece of curated educational intellectual property. It is about $20,000 worth of my personal makeup education. It is the way that I sculpt a face. It is the tools to use. It is exploration. I want to say that there's about 60 curated tutorials inside of this educational vault. It's called Elite Turbo Glam. The idea started about four years ago. Hundreds of women have gone through this program. The, the concept is that you can either cherry pick between the videos and learn what, whatever you want to learn based on your personal skill level, or you can subject yourself to doing a 30-day group program inside of our vault. And after we've had, I want to say, 700 people go through that group, 700 of them that I'm aware of, but probably more than that because people share it with their daughters and their mothers. You know, more than one person watches it, I'm certain, when people buy. Um, I've, I've witnessed our clients doing these programs with their kids. It's phenomenal. They're teenagers. Um, the type of feedback that women give me is they, they tell me people are looking at me for the first time in my life. People got, people went through this, this 30 day educational vault around beauty and all of a sudden got job promotions. 
this one story always lands with me. She said that she had a boss that never made eye contact with her. He would talk to her and he never once made eye contact the entire time that she worked there. And she went through this training and learned beauty protocols to sculpt her face the way that we do in Hollywood, the way that I have done for over 70 different, you know, high level celebrity, celebrity media, A-lister, sports star type of clients. There's a thing that we do to people's face on camera that makes the audience connect. It's like you become this magnet, this vortex, and people look you in the eye. And I teach it inside of this, this particular container, the Elite Turbo Glam Group. And this client told me that this man had never looked at her. He would bark orders to her, give her lists, and the whole time he wouldn't look at her. And all of a sudden, she said, he walked in the other day and he looked me square in my eyes and held eye contact while he talked to me for the first time ever. The same person also got a job promotion. It was like a switch flipped and all of a sudden she was being seen. This happened to school teachers where the kids all of a sudden started listening and they would stare at her and call her a Barbie. They were like, you like my Barbie. Was it because she was wearing hot pink? No. Nope. There's a way that toys are packaged, media is packaged, Hollywood is packaged, and there's, there's psychology to it, 100%. And it increases eye contact. So hundreds of women have been through this particular training and it's about a 30 day basis that, that it happens in. And this for me is where a skill turns into an art because we go for like 30 days and you could come into elite turbo glam on a scale of one to 10. If you were like a one or a two with makeup, and beauty routines and understanding like what color palette and where do things go and like what brush do you use, et cetera. You could come in with a very low level of skill and within 30 days be a full blown, I would stack our clients against the makeup artists of any major counter. I would stack our clients up who have gone through this 30 day program. I would stack them up against the local makeup artist in their town. That's how confident I am in the results. Elite Turbo Glam is where a skill. So you watch through these like 10 minute curated tutorials and you learn like why you're doing what you're doing and where things go and how to work each color palette. There's literally a video for every single piece of our, our lineup and our collection. So inside 30 days, you learn the skill. And once you have the skill, it turns into an art form. When it comes to beauty, it's like learning a dance. Anyone here get nervous about dancing a little bit? Like you think about taking like a striptease class or a hip hop class or whatever, and you're like, oh my gosh, I would be like, my legs would be like rubber. I would be like so freaking nervous. It'll be awkward. I'm going to be awkward. Some people love dancing, so it's like a oh, second nature. And some people love painting, and so makeup is second nature. But for the person who is not a natural artist, it can feel a little awkward. It's like taking a dance class for the first time and you have a really hot instructor and you're like, oh my God, I'm sucking. <laughs> I'm sucking so bad. I have to think about every move. It's like left foot, right foot, back, forward and step and sideways and pop. It's like, you're like, remember it, remember it, remember it. Don't mess up, right? <laughs> So beauty is like that. There's a, there's this tiny bit of like an intimidation factor, like, oh my God, the teacher's hot or people are watching me. 
And then there's a little bit of like internal, like I want to get this right. Remember the steps. But if you think about doing like a curated 30 day training, it's like, okay, if you went to dance class every single day and for 30 days, you learned a new piece of the step by day 30, it would be down pat. And you're no longer thinking about the moves and thinking about what you're going to do next. It's like it becomes intuitive. Makeup and beauty are the same way. You build day by day, skill by skill. You get another piece in another section of the artistry and the craft. And your knowledge builds every single day. By the end of it, you're no longer thinking about which brush you're just intuitively grabbing. And it becomes an art. It's less of a skill and more of an artistry. This is why when I speak on Elite Turbo Glam, which is our educational platform, when I speak on this, I say I would stack those who have gone through 30 days against the local artist. They have to think less. It's now just relaxing and artistry. It's like painting. So the drawing that we're doing today is around Elite Turbo Glam. The value of it is six months access to the educational pieces, our IP, it's a vault. It's available both on Kajabi and the Facebook platform, depending on where you hang out. I like the Facebook group because there's lots of interaction. I love it, actually. I love the connection. There's also the element to it where you're getting the bonuses for this week. So for just the, the everyday amazing person to come into Elite Turbo Glam, the price on it is currently, I wanna say $55 a month. So you'll be getting six months access. So there's one piece of the value. The second piece is like, I just, I can't imagine coming into that container and not having like the universal pieces. So yesterday I just kind of skimmed on this, but today I wanna to show you what comes with Elite Turbo Glam inside this group. So the pre-sale is happening right now. It's coming to a close. The pre-sale was for 444, it's almost over. And a couple of you said that you wanna know about pre-sales. So if you wanna learn about marketing today, hashtag the word pre-sale. If you don't wanna learn about it, I'll save it for our business babes tomorrow. But during this week, while you're inside of this masterclass, when you sign up for and claim your spot in Elite Turbo Glam, you get the tools. I talked yesterday about sculpting. I'm a sculptor, I love to sculpt, and there's specific tools. And if you don't have the right tools, you don't have the right things, but you decide to sculpt with Q-tips that day, like it doesn't, it doesn't quite work the same. <laughs> it's the same with makeup. So we curated 11 brushes for an expert series brush bundle. This is one of the pieces. The value of it is $177 for expert series brushes. This comes with Elite Turbo Glam this week. So you're getting $177 in brushes first. The next piece is if I was going to sculpt today, I was going to do a bar relief. I, I'm, I'm full blown going to go into sculpting and I have the option between an expert series sponge to work with, or I'm going to sculpt with a Kleenex today. I'm going to pick the best tool. So these bad boys is called a blender babe. This particular one, I know there's a gazillion on the market. They all have different, different absorbencies, different hardness, different softness, what they can do. This is comparable to the, the patented beauty blender, which retails for like, I want to say $25. You get this, this week with Elite Turbo Glam. 
and then the what do you call it the piece de resistance like the the most important aspect i just glazed across this yesterday as a celebrity makeup artist there were six specific colors that i purchased over and over and over and over and i took them and they were always on my makeup table for the over 75 different celebrities that i've styled and when we launched our company this is the first time this is making its debut right now i cannot wait when we launched our company i had those six colors put into one place for sculpting a face. I created a piece of video content and then I broke it down even further into like five smaller pieces to show people what we do on camera to magnetize. All six of those colors are inside of this palette. We just received these. If you have this palette already, you'll realize this is brand new. This is new packaging. It's environmentally conscious. We switched from plastic to paper. I'm so excited about it. Brad actually helped to, to make the artistry for it. So it's like matte black with like this contour word that kind of disappears. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And the shades inside of it are those six shades that I used over and over and over on every face. And I've taught hundreds of our clients how to do beauty rituals that actually capture their beauty, turn their face into sculpted artwork. Yes, and they're labeled. <laughs> this is the other really fun thing is like the shades are now labeled. We switched manufacturers, this took two years to do. So the shades are actually labeled inside the packaging. And I cannot wait, oh my gosh, like can't wait to get this into people's hands. And just, there's so many improvements, there's so many shifts. So one beautiful soul today who shared our graphic is winning this, all of it. They're getting six months access to our educational platform where they they can either cherry pick their content of how fast or slow they want to watch it inside the six months, or they can participate in one of our 30 day community endeavors where we all learn together. They're getting the brushes, the expert series makeup artist brushes. They're getting the, the, the blender babe, that little pink, perfect yes <laughs> and the very first contour palette that is flying out of our office this week is going to this person and I could not be more excited for them so we have we have the names of those who have shared and we're going to draw again like this towards the end of the week I think we're going to do it on Friday so we're going to draw more but you can still get in by doing your shares. <laughs> and our person is, Jermo, please. On Instagram, Painted Pony Wyoming. She has a boutique with Western, Western wear, Western gear. Heather Hart is our first winner of the week. Congratulations, girl, congratulations. Um, our team will be reaching out uh, with a promo code for you to get all of your membership and all the goodies for free. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for boldly talking about us to your communities. It's not something that I take lightly that you guys repost my mug and the name of my masterclass and what you're getting out of it. Like, especially for those of you who are co who are coaches, it is a next level, or if you have a business or, you know, a following or whatever, it's a next level sign of love and respect when you will share. Like it means so much to me because it means that you trust me. So it means the world. Congratulations to Heather Hart. I don't know if she's here live, but that's amazing. Congrats. Okay. So now that we've done our drawing time, I think I'm going to save the, um, 
no, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about the pre-sale thing. So let's get into the content. So yesterday we did a pre-sale, a pre-sale on what I exactly just talked about right there. It was from the feminine offer perspective. It was not me marketing beauty to you from a perspective of, hey girl, you're ugly. Hey girl, you need this. Any of, and any of the other hey girl messages. It wasn't aimed at taking you into a low frequency so that you felt less than um, inept, um, lack-based, or that you needed me to save you. All day long yesterday, we were expanding and raising your energetic frequency so that if this was a hell yes for you and you felt it in your bones, you would know right there. There's no convincing. There is no, yeah, there's no convincing about it. There's no persuading. It's just put you in a high vibe let you be empowered and let you think for yourself because you're brilliant. Let my brilliance land with your brilliance. And if it's a match, it's a match. It's a very different way of being. So when we talk about the word pre-sale, the thing that I just described, the elite turbo glam offer with all the bonuses, it's in pre-sale and a pre-sale is where you glaze over, but you don't give a ton of details about something. Often people, they, they, they get the joy of finding out when they get inside. It's not that you're over explaining, you're not manipulating, you're not coercing, you are not giving them everything. It's just, if this feels like a match for you, for a limited time, you get the opportunity to snap it up at a slightly lower price than retail. It's a, it's an effortless yes. With almost every program and every offer that I do, I put it out there as a pre-sale because there are people that already trust me. They already know that our, our content is world-class. They already have heard about our products. And so they're like, okay, like this is an effortless. Yes. I would like to save a hundred dollars. Let's do it. That is the nature of a pre-sale every single day from now until the end of this masterclass at the end of the video, once we've actually taught a real class, you're going to hear about a pre-sale. And if it's an effortless, yes, for you, it's, if it's a total match for you, then at that point you just like, Snap it up. The art of a feminine sale has to do with effortless yeses that are, they are a frequency match. They are an energy match. They are a personality match. They are a trust match. They are a desire match. It's something that you wanted anyways. And you're like, oh my gosh, yes, this is the person. This is the moment. This is the time. And I would love to snap it up at that price. So you are going to get to see a bunch of these happen this week. And if you are someone who wants to be building an intentional online brand, like you're going to get to witness it happen and then you can go practice it. Anyways, so this week's course, it's a hybrid course between beauty and my expertise as a coach and a consultant and a marketer. Because I have both. We built our, our beauty brand up to a million dollars organically. And then I started consulting with other brands on how to actually take their messages online. And so you're getting pieces of both this week. But today's actual training is deeply around beauty. I just decided to throw in a little bit about the feminine sales model right there. <laughs> So yesterday we talked about going from a skill to an art, which now you're understanding this is, this is the vibe of elite turbo glam going from acquiring a skill to then it becoming a natural art to you for it becoming intuitive, like learning to dance or anything else that you do in life. 
Today, we're going to talk about going from an art to mastery. I'm going to be reading you something in just a moment that it actually makes me cry. I read it to my husband this morning when I was weepy anyways, and I just full blown started crying <laughs> because it's this is the reason that for a year I could not really speak on beauty the way that I wanted to because I could I could not get behind the way that beauty was being marketed. And I also felt this lack of depth. And it just didn't land for me to simply post pictures of a makeup palette. I'm like, it's more than makeup. It's so much more than makeup. Today's message is the missing piece. From an art form to mastery. From an art form to mastery. So if you're here live, write the words from art to mastery. Yesterday we went from skill, from a skill to an art. Now it's art to mastery. We're going to talk about some masters. How many of you have noticed that each morning you're getting some pictures of old Hollywood icons? Are you loving them? Have you noticed their quotes? The depth of what they were saying, I think has been lost for a minute and I feel like those voices are coming back. These Hollywood icons, sometimes they're painted in like this, this negative light and you'll notice that the patriarchy likes women to look crazy. Well thought women, powerhouse women, women who understood frequency, women who were walking, living, breathing art. The patriarchy at large wants women like that to look crazy, wants them discredited. So there's a lot of people out there who just think that these, these women were selfish, self-absorbed, not credible, mentally ill. You read those quotes and for me, I go, maybe not. What if they were masterful in their magnetism and it just pissed people off? Part of my language. Just think on that for a moment. So the old Hollywood icons that you're gonna witness this week, what I observe about them is that they were interesting at any age. When you think of the Katherine Hepburns and the Audrey, the, the Aubrey Hep, Audrey, Audrey Hepburns, the Marilyn Monroe's, like all these different huge iconic names, they, they were interesting from childhood. People are interested in seeing what were they like when they were younger, what was their beauty evolution, how many times did they change. I believe that the Madonnas of this century, you know, they have tapped into this, this, this morphing, this, this art form, this living art form. The Kardashians have tapped into this. They are walking art. Love them, hate them, triggered by them, adore them. They are walking art forms, changing their hair, morphing their makeup. They literally speak a universal language without talking because beauty is a frequency. Being art is a frequency. The beauty frequency opens a portal 
to next level wealth, next level influence, next level love, next level connectedness to the, uh, the divine. It's like the portal opens at beauty, creativity, and imagination. Beauty is a frequency. When I witnessed these, these Hollywood icons, they were interesting at any age. The very last photos that I saw of Marilyn Monroe, I think she did like a beach shoot in her early 40s. Still just as interesting. Wrinkles, skin changed, body changed, hair looked different interesting follow me on this word interesting when i look at the icons the hollywood icons and even the people who are mainstream famous today when i look at the greatest influencers of this time the top paid anythings they don't have a cookie cutter look. Think about it. It's not an age. It's not a shade. It's not a hair color. It's not one type of fashion. It's not cookie cutter. They're interesting to look at. Interesting. Notice I didn't say perfect. It's not even a standard. It's interesting. It's magnetic. You don't want to stop watching and they make you very curious. I used to think that this was just a makeup thing or a beauty thing. And my husband and I had this chat this morning about it, about beauty being a frequency. I told him that I had this massive epiphany in the last 48 hours that like the bottom of the portal to literally mastery, mastery of magnetism, divinity, um, deep love, happiness, like the elusive things that people are looking for every single day of their life. The opening to the portal is at 505 maybe slightly lower at 475. It's when you stop being in, in your reasoning mind, in your struggling mind, in your grind mind, in your masculine-centered, like, do, do, do mind. The opening to the next portal is that creativity, imagination, and beauty. And we discussed this concept that used to happen. We used to attend these conferences. And on average, there would be typically 700 to 1,000 people in the room. Now check out the science and check out the stats. Where are my science nerds? <laughs> out yourselves, <laughs> show yourselves. Who are my people? <laughs> Who are my people? Who are my science nerds? So there is, there's something that I used to listen to since like 2017. It was from a, a lady um, named Christy Marie Sheldon. Uh, she teaches on law of attraction and abundance and all these other things, but she backs it by science, which I love because I'm like, give me the facts, give me the car facts, show me the things. So she was the person that introduced me to the Maharishi effect in which they, they took like a hundred um, transcendental meditating monks and dropped them in a city and had them focus all of their intention on the entire city. And within that 24 hour time frame, when all that focus and intention were being directed in a specific spot, they shifted the frequency of the city. The stocks went up, the crime rate went down, pollution went down for 24 hours. It's well documented. You can look it up. Another thing that Christy Marie Sheldon brought to my attention is that a person operating at a frequency of like 500 to 700, 
they have the capacity to, instead of other people influencing them, they become the influence in the room. Energetically. This is why I see, I see certain people online and it's like they are attracting at such a high volume because they're operating at a high frequency. Other people's BS is affecting them less and they are affecting hundreds of people at a time without being shaken. I wanna say if you're over five frequency of 500, which is creativity, imagination, beauty, and you've opened that portal, I think it said that you can affect like 700 people at a time. So my husband and I, we, we had this conversation this morning when I was in my little weepies talking with him. And he was like, this makes so much sense on why we would go to these conferences and you would walk through the room and people would not stop like staring, looking, trying to get closer, magnetizing. And my mom who's watching live has has observed that this has happened to me for over a decade. She said, Extina, you're not even aware that people stare at you everywhere that you go. They're not affecting me. I'm magnetizing them and I'm not trying and I'm not even noticing. My mom said that this has happened to me since I was, she noticed it really when I was in my mid twenties and we would just be walking around in Miami and it's like all the heads would turn and my mom's like, do you not see everyone looking at you? And I'm like, I didn't even notice. Carry on. It's not a look per se. This is what's getting lost in translation and the old school model of selling is trying to shove down your throat is if you look a certain way, then you're good enough. I don't find that to be true anymore. This is why the evolution of our beauty brand had to happen over the last year. It's not if you look a certain way, then you will anything. I'm going to sneeze. Don't sneeze. My team will have to edit this moment out. We talked about, my husband and I talked about how on average there was around 700 to 1,000 people in that room. And when I walked through, I was oblivious. Every single time though, I had spent, I had spent my time in the morning and it usually looked like this. I, I lay all my things out on the counter. It's literally like a connective, creative, intentional luxury experience because I've mastered the skill. I don't have to think about it anymore. It's now an art to me. This is what happens with our clients. It stops being a skill that they have to think about like, Oh my God, does my lipstick match my, my eyelashes? Like you don't think anymore. It becomes art and relaxation. So in the mornings I would literally like, do my, do my creativity, my intuition, my beauty, bringing it to life. And I would turn myself into a walking piece of art. Beauty and art are a universal language and they are the portal to high frequency. At higher frequencies, you don't have to force things anymore. You're not forcing attention. I was oblivious to people paying attention to me. I wasn't forcing it. I wasn't forcing relationships. I wasn't asking. I wasn't striving, pushing, or doing. It just happened. Because in the morning, I opened the vortex. 
with beauty, creativity, and imagination. I often turn on music. I often turn on very empowering and intuitive pieces of like content that I want to listen to. It becomes a full blown sensory experience with color and senses and smells. Like I have a candle going right now, like in my bedroom, you know, I have music going. It's, it's a full blown sensual experience. I'm opening the day with art. Once you have the skill that's available to you and from art, and having this art form and this creativity that's just intuitive, it's, it's, you no longer have to think. It's just there for you. You then become a walking piece of art and you are now affecting everyone, everything. Magnetizing people to you without really a thought. It's no longer this masculine like, oh, I'm going to close people on being my friend. Walking artwork, you as a piece of art, not because there's something wrong with you and you have to fix it. Not because of that, but because you enjoy it. Because you want to create art. You, you want to self-express. You can picture how you want to look and feel that day and you just vibe into it and go like, okay, this is, this is what I'm doing today. You'll notice I don't look the same every day. I use a different palette almost every day. I change it based on my mood and what I want to create. From skill to art to mastery. I would venture to say that many of the old Hollywood icons, I'm going to be tomorrow morning, spoiler alert, I'm going to be showing you how many of them were captured in front of their quote unquote dressing table. We call it a vanity or a makeup mirror. They were masterful at magnetism. And I think it really irked a lot of people. I believe that's why they were discredited. And that is also, that is also a choice. It's a choice to be masterful. It's a choice to be a walking, living, moving, breathing piece of art. Not because there's something wrong with you and you have to fix it, but because it's personal expression, it's intention. You're opening a portal every day, intentionally incorporating artwork into your heart every single day. When you open your life and your world and your heart like that, something radical happens, but it's a choice. We choose whether consciously or subconsciously. We choose whether we want to be seen or not. I want to go way below the surface. I want to go so deeply with you here. I recently invested in a $10,000 a month mastermind with a mentor that I so respect. And to me, our first, our first phone call was a $10,000 phone call. And I'm going to bring to you right now what we talked about. I wore something today called the sacred palette because to me, what I'm about to say is sacred. This is so much deeper than self-confidence. It's so much deeper than the choice of whether or not you think that makeup really is like your vibe or your brand.
this is such a deeper question. Because the women of the world right now, they have this dot, dot, dot happening. I'm gonna explain. The dot, dot, dot is a vortex. The dot, dot, dot is the land of possibility or impossibility. And the sentence goes, yeah, I, I see you and I, I see all this beauty. And I mean, of course I would like to look like that, but dot, dot, dot. The dot, dot, dot is, is the incompletion of the intention, of the thought, of the brand. People connect with art and luxury brands because they're so intentionally thought out. It's a complete thought from start to finish. It's how, how do I want to feel? How does this need to feel? How do I want other people to experience this? What is the luxury? But what I hear and what I experience in women is they say like, yeah, I would love to look like that, but dot, dot, dot. And then the dot, dot, dot is the decision. Do I wish to be seen? Do I wish not to be seen? What happens if I'm seen? versus what happens if I'm not seen. People often choose the pain that they know versus the pain that they don't know. We know what it's like to not be seen. And many of us unconsciously do this. And then the dot, 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 that little tiny energetic moment is the unconscious decision, do I want to be seen or not? I can choose to remain unseen because I know what that feels like. But if I risk being seen, what happens? Is it everything I ever wanted it to be? Or is it something else and I know over here it's safe and I know over here there's possibility this is painful but it's a pain I know so I can choose this I can stomach this I can choose being unseen because I can stomach that what if everything that you ever wanted was over here so I'm going to read you something that my husband and I, I read it to him this morning and I started crying. It's around the choice. It's around the dot, dot, dot. We make this decision every day on a conscious and an unconscious level. The choice to flip a switch and let our, our walking artistry magnetize the planet. Or stick with what we know. So along with the Hollywood icon vibes, this is an excerpt from Amy Green. She's the wife of Marilyn Monroe's personal photographer. And feel free to lightning bolt me up if this hits you the way that it hits me. This is her quote. This is from the wife of Marilyn Monroe's personal photographer. She said, I'll never forget the day Marilyn and I were walking around New York City, just having a stroll on a nice day. 
she loved New York because no one bothered her there like they did in Hollywood. She could put on her plain Jane clothes and no one would notice her. She loved that. So as we're walking down Broadway, she turns to me and says, do you want to see me become her? Masterful. <laughs> I didn't know what she meant, but I just said, yes. And then I saw it. I don't know how to explain what she did because it was so very subtle. But she turned something on within herself that was almost like magic. Suddenly, cars were slowing and people were turning their heads and stopping to stare. They were recognizing that this was Marilyn Monroe as if she pulled off a mask or something, even though a second ago, nobody noticed her. I had never seen anything like it. It's in the decision. It's in the dot, dot, dot. It's in the conscious and the unconscious decision that you want to be seen. It's deep to me. We choose. We choose to be on the frequency of beauty. We choose to turn on our magnetism. We choose to let people in. We choose the greatest adventure of a lifetime, the greatest love of a lifetime. Mainstream fame for some of us. It's an unconscious, energetic, frequency-based choice to open the vortex. I open the vortex every morning at my makeup table. <laughs> when I had this call with my mentor, I, I swore on the call. And again, with, with the women who are in my mastermind, I'm like, it is so much more than effing makeup. I didn't know how to tell people this, but now I understand. It's not a certain look. You get to play on the way of deciding what your certain look is. You get to learn the skill, turn it into an art form, and then make it mastery. You get to do it, you get to pick. It's not that you have to be a cookie cutter, certain like supermodel, like this is the way. Art transcends language. It transcends race. It transcends age. It's transcendent. It helps people to ascend into a higher frequency. It's so much more than effing makeup. And now I understand that beauty is a frequency. Why does being in nature work for me? Because beauty is a frequency. Why does a sunset affect our heart? Because beauty is a frequency. It's so much more than makeup. And it's a choice. It's a choice to open the vortex. I could just sit in that.
think we're at an hour. Do we want to save the rest for tomorrow or do you want to keep going? Can your brains handle anymore? <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I love how this is moving you all. That phrase, I feel like we could all, okay, people are saying keep going, okay. I feel like we could all take a sticky, like a sticky note, or I use dry erase markers on my mirror, I really do. I have dry erase markers and I write on my vanity table mirror. But I feel like we could all like have this on our mirror that says like, do you want to watch me become her? Do you want to watch me become her? Do you want to watch me open the vortex? Do you want to watch me step into my magic? Like this belongs on our mirrors. If you are, if you are feeling this movement, this belongs on your mirror. When you do your makeup, I feel like this is our our for the next six months in our Elite Turbo Glam container. Like this is going to be the vibe right here. This is it. I literally think we need to put this on like a piece of our artistry or a palette or something so exciting like when we make our branding and stuff like that like we get to pick what it says like what if we had something that said like do you want to watch me become her ah! <laughs> that sounds so good okay ideas coming through so on day three of this master class we're going to dive super deep into what i call mainstream fame so for those of you who are like intentionally building a brand or you you have this heart and soul vision that like your brand is going to be a household name and like the phones that are open in every house where your stuff is there, like you are energetically filling their homes and impacting lives like day three, four and five are, are 100 percent for you. That's what we're covering. But for the moment, I want to focus on artistic self-expression and making these empowered decisions in your life based on having a super high frequency. We talked just a moment ago about the fact that when you are operating at a very high frequency, when you decide in the morning, like I'm going to open up my morning and I'm going to open up my day and I'm going to open up the vortex of higher minded thinking and magnetism and wealth and real love and connection and intuition and connection to the divine. You make this conscious decision in the morning, like I'm going to actually engage in art today. This is how I do it every single day of my life. When I do my makeup, there are days that I don't wear makeup and the way that I even put my skincare on, which you would, you would see inside of elite turbo glam is like artistry. It's sensual. It's tapping into the senses, all of them, the smell of it, the feeling of it, how it looks, like the sound of the pump. Smell and taste are like very similar, but this is like you're engaging all of your senses. It's less of a slap job and more of a like a massage. It's interesting. But when you choose to open up the vortex in the morning and become walking artwork and you're at this higher frequency for the entire day, because not only did you tap into 475 and 505 on the frequency scale in your emotions, because you chose creativity, you chose imagination, you chose beauty, and then you get to enjoy it the whole day. So you carry that frequency with you of being walking, living, moving art. Your entire day, you are making more empowered decisions. I just grazed on this yesterday that many times women who are beautiful, they get these really interesting labels, these very, these very disempowering labels. 
my husband and I actually, we were, when we were having this deep conversation this morning, he said what he observed is that in most arguments, the basis of the argument is trying to attack the person's character so that they drop into the lowest possible frequency. And that I said, I said to him, and that is where you are able to be manipulated. So say you're in an argument online or in person. The fastest thing that people will go to is a character assault. Because if you can tap into someone's shame or you can tap into someone's feeling of, of not worthy or not good enough or sadness or something about them, if you will tap into that and, and put them back in that zone temporarily, it's under 125 where people are able to be manipulated and forced into making decisions that they don't want to make. So as we said yesterday, that beauty and actual power are so close on the energetic scale. They're like 20, 20 or 50 points apart, like on the measurable scientific frequency of emotions. They're so close. Beauty and power are so close that women who are very beautiful, interesting to look at, interesting to observe, intentional about creativity and intuition and, and, and walking in their beauty and their magic, these women are not very easily coerced. When they, when they are not thinking about what they look like and they are not thinking about whether they're worthy and they're already operating on this very high frequency plane because of how they opened the vortex that morning, it's a lot more challenging to make a woman feel less than on an emotional frequency basis. You would really have to attack hard or know something about this person that was still like a wound in them. It's not that beautiful women are mean girls. It's that they're certain. And when they're operating at that high of a frequency, it's really hard for other people's BS to affect them greatly. They are no longer the temperature thermometer the thermometer for the other people in the room. They're no longer absorbing everyone else's emotional frequency. They are now the temperature setter in the room. They are now the barometer in the room. They're not F with a bull. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's hard to mess with them. People have told me for years, like, you're, you are intimidating. You are scary. And I'm like, no, it's not that I'm intimidating and it's not that I'm scary. What I'm seeing now is that I am at a different frequency and it's harder for people to bring me low. And the very fact that I stand my ground scares people. This scares this scares society, this scares the patriarchy, this scares people who would like me to drop. <laughs> it makes them nervous when people challenge me uh, or share their opinion and I don't share their opinion. It doesn't scare me to say so. Respectfully, I disagree. And here's why. It's a different frequency. You're like hashtag unbothered. People don't understand this and yet they're drawn to it. Like magnetized to it. My mentor recently said, what if we change the word triggered to activated? How much could we change? How much could we shift? How much more money could we make? How much more impact could we make? If instead of saying that people are triggering us, what if we chose that they're activating us to a higher space, a different way of being, just food for thought. So I want to just reaffirm 
that when I speak on beauty and I speak on cosmetics and I, I speak on, you know, living as art and doing your makeup, what I am not saying is that I think that women should be a certain standard, a certain size, a certain whatever. I don't believe in cookie cutter beauty. I don't. I believe in exploration, artistic exploration. I believe in personal self-expression. I believe in having all the paints. I believe in having all the tools. I believe in learning the craft. And then deciding, like, do I want to look clean and corporate? Do I want to look like I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm super duper polished and youthful and alluring? Or do I want very fun, eccentric? Or do I want to be full-blown old Hollywood, smoky eye? Like, what do I want to be that day? Because there's people who are trapped in the dot, dot, dot. And they go like, yeah, of course I want to look like that. But like, Da, da, da. And maybe in the back of their mind, they're thinking like, you know, I, I want to be the relatable mom. Like my vibe is more like thrift store vibe and thrive, you know, like that's acceptable. But I also don't want women to default to making that decision because they just haven't thought about what they really wanted. Or discovered that if they if they practiced the skill and they had all the colors and they had all the brushes and then they just got to personally self-express as art, they get to make it a decision every day. I'm like, okay, this is what I feel like expressing today. I want to be more fun today or I want to be more chill today. I want to be more muted. What is my art today? The concept goes across so many different platforms, like, for example, decorating your home or trying on fashion. Like, I love fashion and I'm exploring it because my body is pregnant and I'm in the childbearing years and what looks like certain things on the internet, like I, I don't, I don't get the luxury of buying the body to go with it. And so I have to explore. So I buy a lot of things and I buy one thing in multiple sizes and I bring them into my home and I play with them, play with them. I try them all. I explore. I let myself express and go like, is this how I want to feel? Is this, is this what I'm, what I'm after? And the things that work I keep and the things that, that they don't seem to work as well, they're never seen again. Decorating a house is the same way. How many people go to Hobby Lobby and buy 64 things and they go, what's going to fit? I can't really, can't picture it all together, but like, I'll take it home and try it all and whatever I don't like just won't make the cut. But you get to explore and try. Everyone's personal self-expression is going to look different from the way that their home is to their apparel, to how they decorate their body, to how they decorate their face. Like it's not cookie cutter. Everyone gets to self-express fully. And also it's an art. You try it on. It's interesting to me. So this is the idea behind Elite Turbo Glam, the 60 tutorials, the video for pretty much every product, the expert guidance, our team commenting back to you Monday through Friday, you being able to vulnerably put a picture out there and say like, I'm not certain, this is kind of what I was going, what is, is this, is this expressing the vibe? Is this how it should turn out? Is there something you would change? It's online support. It's the sculpting class with all the right tools. It's the luxury to try on, try on different looks. See if you like it. See if it's for you. This is Elite Turbo Lamp.
So if we know that the energetic frequency of creativity, beauty, and imagination is around 500, and we know that this is like the gateway, incorporating a beauty protocol and doing artwork, creativity, if we know that that's the gateway, now you'll understand why I open the portal every morning when I put on my makeup. It's not, it's not a to-do list to check off. It's not this masculine energy paradigm of like, I don't think. What I'm not saying is that I put makeup on so that I can prove myself to anyone, that I can make myself more worthy, that I can be up to snuff with what the patriarchy thinks about me. I do it for art. I do it for luxury. I do it for enjoyment. And I do it to open the portal. It's not just a makeup routine. It's beauty as an energetic frequency. It's opening the portal. I talked with my graphic designer recently and I said, what do you think is, what do you think is the common denominator between the people that people that people that Can you guys hear me okay? It said that my mic was muted because I bumped it. Sorry. Can you guys hear? Throw me a like button if you can hear. I'll just wait two seconds. Yeah, you can hear. Okay, perfect. Um, I was talking with my graphic designer and I asked her, what do you think is the common denominator between your high-end clients? because she works with very, very top tier consultants, coaches, and she creates the branding for all of us. And I was like, what do you think is the common denominator? And she said, you guys all have a look. She's like the difference between the people who make it and don't make it really. And like the mainstream fame online world, she's like the people who are really making it, they're interesting to look at. I'm like, yes. A look, not the look, not cookie cutter. They have a look. It's intentional. They're interesting to observe. They are living artwork. Choosing to open this beauty portal every day, it's a, it's a twofold benefit. It's a, it's a dual benefit. It's artistry opens the portal. A. And B, then you are in this higher energetic state all day long because you become the artwork. You are the walking 505. You are the living, breathing 505 frequency. I feel this also needs to be a shirt. <laughs> People will think it's like a zip code or like an area code or something like that, but like, this is the truth. You're magnetizing people. You're a walking, living, breathing 505. You're shifting. You're shifting people without even speaking yet. And I think that that crux, that dot, dot, dot that women get into is the, well, who am I to do that? Yeah, yeah, of course, 16, I want to look like that, but, and then that dot, 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 the moment is this little sneaky, insidious voice that says, but who are you to do that? Who are you to own luxury makeup? Who are you to have a vanity table in your bedroom? Vain. 
Who are you to spend an hour on self-care every day? Who do you think you are? Who are you to wear things like that? Who do you think you are? And in that tiny dot, 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 the subconscious question comes through. And if you are asking yourself and you're allowing this question in your mind of, well, who are you to do that? The rest of the world will also ask this question. When I speak with my husband and I speak with my mentor, I talk about clients and potential clients that, in my opinion, are the world's best kept secret. I tell them about their brilliance and their intellectual property and their gifts and the transformations that they do. And I'm painfully aware of how their brilliance would be unlocked if the dot, dot, dot could be resolved for them. The moment of deciding like, I'm a big freaking deal and I'm worthy of being heard. One of my mentors recently said that in one of her printables that she gives out, <laughs> she says, one of the assignments is to say, I am your first name, <laughs> insert F word, last name, and to say it to yourself. She's, a, she's really sweary. But this is the point is like in that crux of the dot, 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 and that tiny little energetic vortex of it's an unconscious decision, whether you will choose to be seen or not be seen. It's the question of like, well, who are you to be seen? And if you don't have an answer, these are the ones that are brilliant and stay the world's best kept secret. I am painfully aware of who those people are. I can see them from a mile away. It's painful for me to witness. This is why I want women so tapped into this decision. The crux, the energetic vortex, the tiny moment of the dot, dot, dot. For them to resolve, who am I to be seen? I am Extina Harmsworth. I'm worthy of being heard. My gifts are magic. That's who I am. That's the decision. We'll wrap today because we've got about seven minutes before we're at the 90 minute marker. And I endeavor to make these about 90 minutes ish so that when this is edited and resold, they're about an hour ish. So I'll say this. For some people, this is an effortless yes. For some of you, it's like, yeah, I want to be part of a community that thinks like this. By the end of this week, there are some of you that are gonna be taking your spots on my wait list for Q4 for after the baby. There are some of you who are gonna jump into one-to-one -one between now and when my baby's born. I'm certain of it because you are ready to resolve this and you want expert opinion on what should go in your, your collection you want to intentionally craft a luxury brand. And so you're going to be here for day three, four, five. And for some of you, we're going to end up working one-on-one. -on -one. 
For some of you, that is so not where your head is at. And you're like, no, like, I'm not ready for that. But like, I'm interested in exploring. I'm interested in knowing the skill and turning the skill to an art so that the art can become mastery. I'm ready for that piece. So for you, we have two options today. Earlier in this video, we talked about the 30 days to taking a skill into an art. That's housed inside of a six month community. It's called Elite Turbo Glam. Early tomorrow, we're changing the price. Right now, it's on pre sale for $444. That's $444. Tomorrow, it will be five, five, five. You'll still get all the bonuses. You'll still get six months of access to our training vault. We'll still ship your stuff this week. It's just tomorrow it becomes $100 more expensive. So if you are one of those people that's like, yes, this is an effortless yes, I am choosing in, in the crux of the dot, dot, dot that it's time to explore and I'm going to choose to be seen. I'm going to choose to turn it on. That is the first offer. The second offer, and this is where we're going to start stacking. This is really fun to me. I want to give you perspective. Typically, a typical client journey with our brand, a typical client journey, because our entire line it's intended to be an experience. The XMH Beauty brand, it's its an experience of a line from the moment that it arrives to you and you open it, the way that it's packaged like a gift, the way that you receive it, the thank you card that comes with it, the words on it, the intention, the luxury, the vibe, the gifting, the experience. From that moment to the moment that you get put into the vault, and this is why I'm so passionate about, I don't just want to sell a palette. Like, this is not the feeling. I want people to understand that from the moment that they, that they purchase and they become a client and their things arrive to the doorstep and then they get put into the vault and they start experiencing and playing and being supported and being able to ask questions and generate fast results and be in this amazing community together. It's like the whole line was intended for celebrities. It always has been. It's been intended specifically for people who they, they are mainstream famous. And it also goes into the hands of people that they want to experience that in their everyday life. The line was made for camera, and yet I use it every day. But from the moment that you become a client, we want you to know that it's an experience. You're being shown the artistry, how to use it. It's a next level type of a brand. But our normal client journey is people purchase their, purchase their first initial order from us. They get put into the vaults. They start experiencing the community. We do ship, we ship to Europe. We ship to, I think, 14 different countries currently. What I'm noticing is people all need the contour palette. They all need the brushes. I've never encountered someone who had the same contour palette that we have because I crafted it myself. They don't have the brush collection because I crafted them myself. And typically once they come into the vault, they realize, okay, I need a high quality mascara. So they end up buying the duo. They realize that they want a more high performance foundation, concealer, base, primers, and they end up getting those too. And then they realize that they would like some specific lashes and shadow and the, the highlighter that they saw in the video. And 
the normal client journey is that people come into our world and within six months, they typically end up with about $300 in additional purchases. This is an average client journey. Average. There's some that go way higher. There's people that spend several thousand dollars on their luxury beauty items in a year, their skincare, they uplevel their skincare, they uplevel everything. This is a norm in my world. People don't come in and buy one thing when they are part of this community. It's average to spend about $500 their first year. And this is what I want you to know. We have our membership that right now includes $250 of that. There's a second offer on the table today and it will only be in pre-sale for 24 hours. It's called the Confidence on Command Package. It includes your six month membership to Elite Turbo Glam. It includes a two day intensive. It's, it's pre recorded two days, two days where you learn what you would have learned over 30 days. You can learn it in a two day intensive. It's called Confidence on Command course. You get that. And the value of cosmetics that you receive with it is $500 in value. Confidence on command alone, without the Elite Turbo Glam access added onto it, typically sells for $2,222. After this masterclass, it will be back up to that. For the next 24 hours, you can get Elite Turbo Glam, all the bonuses that you saw this morning, the two day intensive class to master makeup artistry. You could do it in a weekend. These are for the people that want to go really fast and be masterful very quickly. They don't want to cherry pick. They don't want to go through 30 days. They're like, no, show me now. Oh, also, and I want all the makeup that I'm going to need to do this stuff. So your full value of makeup, products that you receive is $500. The intellectual property that you will receive is $2,600. For the next 24 hours, it's available for $999. You get all the bonuses, you get all the IP. Our team will help you shop. They'll help you meet your perfect foundation match. They'll make recommendations for you. In only 24 hours, it's 999. Tomorrow, the price goes up to 1777. And those are your two luxury offers of the day. If you are someone who you really want that entire experience with us, you want to solidify yourself as a brand, um, the other little thing that I want to just throw out there for you is if you are any type of an online influencer, if you do any type of sales online, if you write off expenses like on your, your corporate taxes or on your personal taxes, the way that we promote our entire line and this consulting, our IP, the, the vault, which is Elite Turbo Glam, all of it is created for video influencers. So if you have an online brand, this can be considered a tax deduction. I don't know that Sephora does that for people. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but this legitimately, you could, you could print off a screenshot where it says this is intended for video influencers. And this is something that this is an investment in your brand. From start to finish, we want you to know that we are invested in you as a magnet, as an attractor, as a high frequency person putting your energy out into the marketplace. And so because of that, 
it actually says asterisk on all of our, our IP. It says for video influencers. So if you would like to submit that to your tax professional, that's an option for you. Tax right off. Like I said, I don't know if Sephora does that. Yeah. I want your entire experience with us to be solidifying your identity as an influence in business and personal. I want it to be so empowering for you. I don't want you to walk into a makeup store and buy makeup because you think you need it. I want every step of the process of you choosing to be our client to be because you are solidifying your identity as an influence on this planet. I'm filling in the dot, dot, dot. If anyone needs links, please go ahead and write the word link in the comments. You have the option to either get that 444 option or the 999 option for the next day or so. Um, our team can totally help you if you want to tag them, Jesse Ferguson, myself, or Rebecca Isabel in the comments, or just write the word link. We get a notification. We'll help you out today to get whatever you need. And I just want to say I love you guys. I hope that this completely shifted you today. I hope that you think of beauty in such a different way today. And for those of you, sneak peek into tomorrow. Tomorrow starts the journey of a luxury brand. So tomorrow, we're going to be talking about social media, images, video, and how they are quickly becoming like the greatest vehicle to mainstream fame and how your intentionality and your luxury really frame you differently in the marketplace. So those of you who are in business, the next three days are for you. For those of you who just wanted a reframe, reframe on beauty, I hope that you had the best time ever. And if this is, if this is the end of the path for you, I just want to say thank you for being here with an open heart and open mind. I hope we stay connected and I honor you for opening your mind. For the rest of you, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, love you so much.